Do you even super ultra tactical, bro? Do you even operate? Kinda. Ish. Like I'm a dad and a husband and stuff, but you know, when I'm not, like, yeah, I do the pew pew. I do pew pew things. So, I have a video. Got to pick this up off the floor. We were quality control testing a, a certain radio for a different video. You guys, you guys get it. It may or may not have posted yet. So, I have a certain video from back in the day, uh, a Minuteman loadout video when I was like super ultra high speed tactical in Texas. And uh, excuse me, edit that out. That never happened. Um, stone face. Anyway, a lot of people are like, either, dude, I love your war belt, war belt, or I can't stand your setup. Battle belt sucks, man. You don't operate. Chill, bro. Take it down a notch. So, what I've been doing here lately on the El homestead -o, which is Spanish for homestead, you're welcome, um, is I put this belt together as like a need to go out the door and shoot coyotes kind of thing. So I'll just show you what I'm running now because a lot of people are like, man, your line one gear is awesome or ah, your line one gear sucks, bro. Like, simmer down, man. Like, take it down a notch. And I'll go ahead and we'll put this in there. So let's drop the mag, remove this round. Quiz time, what is it? Who's paying attention at home? You guys should know this. Barnes, X-Tac, 185 grain, plus P. Safe direction. Okay. Safety check. Got it. So, this is going to go in here. And uh, I'll do the turning with the camera thingy down here. Okay, T. Thanks, guys. You're welcome, T. I can't press the button with the glove on. Oh, yeah. How's that for a shot? You love it. I know. Tremendous. Tremendous. So, this is my left side of the belt, okay? So, this is going to be right off of my, uh, my 9 o'clock-ish. I don't carry this mixer with me, um, but thank you, patrons, for helping us purchase it for the podcasty stuff. You guys are awesome. So, on this side, I have two pistol reloads. One, two, running the same ammo. That Barnes, which is uh, good stuff, good for poking holes. I got a Glock knife. It's not the super ultra high speediest, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And you know what I really like about it? A good brother of mine down in, uh, well, I can't OPSEC him, but he's down in the somewhere sent that to me. He was uh, instructing at a range as an RO. I don't know if he's instructing or just serving as an RO, but Glock showed up, gave him a bunch of stuff, and he emailed me, and he's like, hey, dude, you want some Glock stuff? And I was like, Pfft. do I poop in the woods? Yeah, I want Glock stuff. So he sent me that, which is awesome, as well as some uh, Glock mags, which was super awesome. Over here, I've got uh, this little tiny uh, immediate blowout kit that I've talked about. I actually did a video on this, should be out by now, but it has a 14 gauge needle in it, um, a set of shears, and a cat tourniquet. <clears throat> and this is about my eight o'clock, and then this is my radio back here, my Kenwood. And so, and then I would usually have a push to talk mic hooked into this as well, that would be on the H harness. So, oh yeah, I'm running an H harness. We'll get to that in a minute. Back here, I have the Condor EMT light pouch, which comes off. I've got it turned sideways because sideways is super cool. Has to be tactical. No, I have it turned sideways because it takes up uh, less vertical space sideways. So it's a little bit more uh, compact and high speed ultra tactical this way. Plus it has this cool little handle here. You can grab it and rip it off. And what I do like about these pouches is that if something happened, right, I could reach back here, pop this buckle off like so, grab it and rip it off and move this to where I need it. 
I don't have to take my, my LBE off, my web gear off. I can get the pouch off and lay it in front of me where I can work on myself or others. So I, I do like that feature quite a bit. <clears throat> Moving around this way, this is just a Condor, um, I think it's called the Gadget Pouch. The main reason this is on this belt is so that I have a place to put my cell phone while I'm operating. Like, truth bomb, there you go. That's why this is here. Um, but I've also, I keep uh, disposable plugs in this pocket, earplugs, and an AR front sight tool is in here. Um, and then, I don't even know what's in here. Come on. Airsoft gear. Nothing, nothing in that pocket. Nothing but airsoft gear. And back here, you know, a little tiny boo-boo kit, some zip ties, a lighter wrapped in duct tape, always cause, you know, just uh, some kind of odds and ends. But this pocket, truthfully, is a place to put my cell phone while I operate. And then uh, Safari Land ALS holster pops right out. And this is for uh, a light bearing pistol as well. There's currently not a TLR1 on here, but under certain circumstances, there certainly could be. So that's it for the what's on the belt. And then I have, this is an H harness that's on here. It's like 15 bucks off the Amazons, pretty good. And then attached to the H harness is a compass that's uh, lanyarded on with a uh, 550 cord because all the operations operating operationally like an operator, bro. <clears throat> the belt, uh, the padded portion is the Condor something something. I don't know, padded belt thing, I believe is the technical term. And then this is their, their freaking Condor pistol belt. This is not the best, you know, and a lot of people jump on me, you're just a, a Condor fanboy. I'm like, eh, not really. I do have 511 gear, um, which is pretty good. It's pretty good stuff. It's not three times as good as Condor though. That's something that I will point out. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with this belt is I'm gonna take this cheap POS plastic buckle off and put a better metal buckle on it, which I can do because look, it just pops right off right there. These keepers are kind of mediocre, but they're there. So I've said before, I've only had Condor fail me one time and it was this buckle. This buckle broke and I sent them a nasty gram email and I was like, yo dude, I'm trying to operate operationally like an operator, bro, what's the deal? And I was like, all right, cool, send it to me. And so they sent it to me and now I have a new buckle. So it was tremendous, it was fabulous and uh, I, Mexico didn't even have to pay for it. So that's the deal right there, man. That's what's on the belt. That's my, my Homestead Line 1 gear. Stand by while I press the button again. But listen, we have goats and sheep to defend. We don't have time to sit around and talk about that when we could be out there operationally homesteading with all this wonderful gear on our belt. The other thing I'll add is I like this setup for running drills. Um, I am getting to the point now where I integrate it into my, my line one, my line two, my line three, when I'm rucking or operating or training or whatever. But truthfully, most of this gear that's here now lives on my person. Um, like if I'm gonna put on pants, I don't, see you can't see me from the waist down right now, no pants, none. Just, just enjoying the breeze, man, no pants. But uh, you know, when I have pants on, when I walk out of the house, I have a holster. I have two spare pistol mags. I have a TQ and a set of shears and a needle. Um, I don't have a radio, but I have my cell phone. I don't have a blowout kit, but I do have a mini blowout kit. I always have knives on me. Check that out, desert sand coloration. Yeah, 15 bucks. I was like, oh cool, tan, better than green. Like it, Mora. The Mora's a piece of crap, dude, you would bet your knife. Stop, just stop. Um, yeah, and you know, and I keep a compass in my line one, and you know, I have, I have an iteration of this stuff on me when I leave the house anyway. So if I wanna go run drills 
or run ultra high speed tactical or just shoot coyotes at two o'clock in the morning when they're going crazy, I walk downstairs, I throw this on, I grab an AR and we go party and it's fun. I like it. So is this the ultra high speedest tacticalist belt setup that ever existed? <sighs> Who cares? But maybe it made you think about something that you should have on your belt. Or maybe it made you think that I should take out all my crap out of the big blue tote that it lives in in the closet, go put it on and go train with it. Huh. Or maybe I should not leave derogatory comments on the internet and instead go live my life in such a way that it doesn't matter what some guy I never met before said on the internet. You be the judge. <clears throat> we'll do the shouty out thing. Uh, survival, reality, and prepping. What's up, brother? Good to see you. The Lord Humongous. Good to see you. Welcome. Prepper Logic. What's up, brah? Uh, Canadian prepper, I guess you're still subscribed to me. I find that fascinating. Like I said, you're the reason I started this channel. Um, the offer stands, sir. I would love it if you would uh, reach out. Let's talk. It doesn't have to be on the record. Let's just talk. NTXMag at Gmail. November Tango X-Ray Mike Alpha Golf. When you say it that way, it sounds super high speed. November Tango X-Ray Mike Alpha Golf at Gmail. And uh, the Reverend Gilbert uh, mission trip coming up. That's going to be awesome. The Patreon things, the link is down below. If you want to support the show, barrier to entry is barrier to entry is a dollar a month. Uh, teespring.com slash bear independent for all your bear finalia. And you can see us at bear independent.com. Podcasty things coming up there and some information coming about very burpy training and updates and classes that are coming up. And uh, yeah, man, just super blessed, happy to be out here, loving life, like, this is awesome. This is awesome. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for supporting the show. You guys are the bomb, and I deeply appreciate you guys. So <clears throat> go play with your gear, man. And if your wife's like, honey, why are you doing that? Because Bear said so. That's why. The world's going to end, and I'm not, my belt's not going to be squared away. And then make this face. She'd be like, okay, honey, it's fine. It's fine. Just, just rake the backyard while you're back there. Okay? Okay. Shalom.